Welcome back, everybody, to episode three and my very first time playing through on a dynasty in the Guild 3. If you didn't see the first two episodes, there's a link in the description that'll take you there. And also, as I've been mentioning, I uh, started a new channel this week. I'm migrating all of my historic uh, site vlogs to that channel. It's called Vlogging Through History. There's going to be a lot of new content coming uh, once we get that channel built up a little bit. So every day I'm uh, migrating another video over to that channel. So please click on that link in the description, head over, uh, watch a couple of those videos. Maybe if you haven't seen them or if you have seen them, watch them again and subscribe if you would. I would greatly appreciate it. So we are into the summer of 1409. So we're nine years in uh, to the life of Richard Whitaker, who is now an informer. Uh, which is kind of the low level entry uh, into politics uh, here in London. We've also got the old toll, with it, which is our public house, and we certainly want to upgrade that and make more money. I've made a decision that I'm going to go ahead and hang on to my other facilities that I have, if I can remember where they are over this way. Um, so we're going to keep on holding on to the butchery, Richard's Beef and More, and of course the Happy Farmer are. A uh, small farm. Eventually, we're going to build a full-size farm when we have the finances for that. I do want to find a way to sell my old house. Unless I live long enough for my son or one of my daughters to need a home, maybe we can give it to them. But for now, it sits empty. Here you can see my businesses and where they are financially. They've all made quite a nice profit. And I feel like, at least for now, rather than spending a great sum of money to advance to the next level uh, of citizenship, which would be free citizen, uh, I don't have the influence for that yet anyway. I think I'd rather take some of this money and reinvest it back into my businesses uh, so that I can uh, start to kind of exponentially improve the amount of uh, money that I'm able to make. And then uh, these levels of citizenship should come a little easier. Uh, in the meantime, I do want to work my way up the political ladder if I can. Uh, I also want to look at trying to figure out how we enter into a guild and get the bonuses that are associated with that. So uh, those will kind of be the focuses right now. Making more money, climbing my way up the political ladder, maybe looking at a little bit of intrigue here and there, uh, and then entering a guild. So those are going to be the things we try to do here in this episode today. So it looks like my daughters, Selena and Elizabeth, are now old enough to go stack boxes at the market. Uh, so go, they're going to go make themselves useful. They'll earn a few coins and also hopefully gain some experience in the process. Uh, I'm looking to see what else I can do. I could drive my workers. I could use yes, Nellwind and Richard to do that. And we can do all of that from our home and then they'll go over and do that at the necessary places. Uh, my son Edward, not old enough to do any of those things yet, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and unlock Agriculture 3 for 6,500. Oh, I need a higher title for that. Okay. I need to be a patrician, so I'm not even close to getting that right now. All right, that's not an option for us. Hospitality 2, same thing. We need to be patrician. So I guess... Our citizenship is going to have to continue to be the focus of my investments right now. Uh, we're making a decent amount of money, so that's nice. It looks like we're getting close to being fall here. It's almost midnight. I'm going to go ahead and spend 50 uh, of these influence points to unlock level 1 of Ambitious. And that unlocks a, another level here. Then we have Anxious. Uh, so Ambitious gives me a plus 10% reputation bonus. Uh, these other ones we get bonuses to health, bonuses to productivity, bonus to perception. Let's see what else there is. That's productivity again. Uh, one to charisma. So I like the productivity bonus. Let's go ahead and get that. And then we have to have quite a bit more to be able to get to the next level. Uh, so we're going to have to start doing some things to gain some influence because we don't even have enough to get free citizen. I am respected. All right, cool. So you can see we're up to almost 8,000 in money now. Uh, it's the middle of the night, so productivity is not going to be great right now. That's not a huge deal, though. Uh, let's go ahead and slow things down because in the morning, what I'm going to need to do is start looking at ways to build my influence. All right, so it's morning, uh, autumn 1410. 
We're up to 12000 now in money. My reputation seems to be going up, which is helping a lot. Uh, and I, I will gain influence every turn uh, from my job as an informer. And what I'm watching for are opportunities to apply for higher level positions. Ah, it's you. I'm just not entirely sure when those will become available. But right now there's no current election for any of the offices that I'm looking at. I'm going to go ahead and add on to Richard's Beef and More for 300. Uh, I'm also going to look and see uh, what about productivity. For 150, we can add a 5% increase to productivity. So let's Did take a look here. They're producing a lot of beef, but they don't seem to be selling it very fast. So we might have to set some rules a little different. Let's go ahead and produce some leather as well. It will be ready at lunchtime. And what I want to do here is I want to look at the storage rules and see why are we having such trouble selling off our beef. I'm only keeping five in the front store area. The rest I'd like to just go ahead and sell, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Well, we've reached 20000 now in money, so that's nice. I want to look and see how we're doing compared to the other families. Because I know we've been significantly behind that other family, and it looks like that's still the case. So we're going to have to look at ways to keep the ball rolling here. Oh, here comes the snow. I don't know if there's anything else we can build right now. Because right now I just don't have the means to level up. So we need to level up to Free Citizen, which means 800 in influence. So we've got to start getting influence any way we can and one of the key ways to do that is actually uh, through giving to the church so let's go ahead and get him to leave what he's currently doing what's going on here oh, I was the victim of a crime what somebody robbed me or something I didn't get any notification about that all right let's slow things down for a minute Oh, it looks like my wife's ready to level up. Okay, so we want to gain influence. Why does it keep taking me off of that screen? Oh, it's because I've been doing the public relations gig for a while now. Let's stop that. Can we just talk about the fact that we're in the middle of a snowstorm and my Richard is talking to some random dude on the street wearing a plague doctor mask? and how perfectly normal that seems to be to both of them. This is what my son wore for Halloween this year. He's 12 years old and uh, he just thought it was really cool. He didn't need anything fancy. He got a Plague Doctor mask, a black robe, and walked around with a scythe in his hand and he loved it. I can't seem to get Richard to stop with his current task of public relations long enough to get him to do something else, which in this case is I want him to go and give money at the church so I can gain some influence. Uh, it seems like as soon as he's done with one of these conversations, I get a real quick window where I could try to hurry up and click, but by the time I click on anything, he's already talking to somebody else. So I'm trying to find a way to get him out of this. Winter 1411 arrives. Okay, there is a council assistant position open. And it's kind of on the same level as what I'm already on, but it's actually the, the head of that particular level. Uh, so it seems like it's probably worth my application. I really can't get away from here right now. Okay, let's do it. Right now I'm the only candidate for the position. So that's the good news. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see if anybody else applies. So right here, 5,000 will get us 950 influence by bribing an official. Now I think there's not separate influence for each member of the family so I'm guessing if I have my wife do this it works just as well as having Richard do it so let's go ahead and bribe Killian the squire Will do. and let's see what that does to our influence looks like it's gonna take a little time let's go ahead and speed things up So we have an indictment and we actually have to submit a verdict for this as an informer. Uh, and the indictment, it appears to be for pickpocketing. 
and Brian is the accused, and he's from another family. Uh, so the recommended punishment is a fine. Let's go ahead and give our verdict. And it seems... How do we go about this? The opinion of the population of the city is that he's guilty. Oh, we just drag it over here like this. We could actually say prison time? Now nah, we'll go with the opinion of the population, which seems to be right here. I think that's how that works. I'm a bit busy right now. Okay, I guess we'll see. There's more though. There's a couple of other uh, proceedings that we have to deal with as well. Another pickpocketing. It looks like that's something I'm kind of involved in. I'm a bit busy right now. Apparently that's the majority of the issues that are I'm happening in our city right, right now. now. I don't know what this one is. Election for city. Oh, it's a council assistant. I'm the only candidate still, so that's good news. So apparently our bribe must not have worked because I'm not seeing any uh, kind of increase in my influence. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look for opportunities to bribe an official again. And I guess we got to find somebody who's actually bribable, like the dungeon master. That's a 100% chance right there. Cool. Let's go with that. Let's see if it works. Come on, Richard. Do your thing. Let's speed time up a little bit. Here he comes. Bribe the official. Nice. Oh, that worked beautifully. Actually got a nice little bonus to it, too. So now I've got 1,500 influence. That is more than enough to become a free citizen. Congratulations, Congratulations to me. I can now go on a trade mission, which gains 1,000. Um, it only costs me 2,000, and I can get 1,000 influence for that. That's beautiful. That's a lot easier than what I just did. That crow is really loud. Write a pamphlet. Uh, we can write a letter of recommendation. Or we can access far trade markets. Excellent. So now let's go ahead and take a look back at agriculture again. Because now... Oh, we're not quite there yet. I think we have Hospitality 1. And Agriculture 3... We can't get yet because we need patrician for both of those things, which is the next level. We've got the money for it. We don't have the influence, but let's go ahead and just take some time to build up our funds again. All right, we're still the only person vying for this council assistant position. Uh, it's office level four. The period of office is four rounds. Uh, the applications are open until 1411 at 7.55. Uh, so I guess applications are now closed, and the election will be at 1955, so actually in just about an hour. So let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Uh, I would assume I'm going to get the position as council assistant. Yay me! Richard Whitaker won the election for the office of council assistant. Responsible electors voted. Maryland voted for Richard Whitaker. Not a lot of choices there. Let's see what that does, if anything. Ah, my score. I'm still having a really hard time catching up to this family here. Something happened right here that gave them a big jump. Now, I'm all the way back up to 18000 I'm making money pretty quickly now. Uh, so I think I'm in position to go ahead and try out some of these new diplomatic options. What do we got here? Proposal to change city laws. We could propose no, changing city laws. Interesting. So here, at the, as a council assistant, I'm meeting with the town clerks. Uh, right now, it's legal to write a pamphlet. It's illegal to steal from a character. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty content with those laws the way they are. So I think we'll pass on that. Um, let's take a look at... Where's the one that... I think it was on the uh, trading... It was under business, maybe? Nope. I know somewhere yes, there was sir. one where we could make a lot of money. Here we go. So we can do a trade mission right here. Where are we going to go? Paris? Hamburg? Winchester? Cambridge? Winchester is probably the closest. Let's do that. Certainly. That may take a while, so we'll see how long that takes, and I should gain some nice influence when I get back. 
So I'm following myself along. You can see I'm walking all the way out here. There's the, the building that we go to for the Winchester long distance trade route. You can actually see you can buy things while you're there. And there's some pretty cool stuff you can buy. We haven't even really explored any of this yet. All of the things you can buy. There are weapons and armor, which obviously would be very helpful if I'm worried about people attacking me. And you can see how much they cost. I guess it would certainly offer some protection. Short swords, plague attire. Okay, that's kind of awesome. And I feel like I'm going to want one of these. So we're going to have to visit the market and see what we can do about that. Everything is fine. What does that even mean? Uh, mean. Let's take a look at that. A family member is back from a long journey. Okay, so I'm back from my long journey to Winchester. And there's my influence. So let's go ahead claim the title of Patrician. That's going to allow me to insult people. But right now it's illegal to insult people in London. Alright. Send someone on a long distance journey. Costs 10,000. That only gains um, 2,000 in influence. Spy on a building. Oil the wheels of bureaucracy for 20,000. You can build a warehouse and get access to offices at the middle level. Now we have access to Agriculture 3, but I'm going to wait, wait a little while till my financial situ situation improves. A uh, family member has leveled up. Selena, hey, you stacked enough boxes. Nice done. Nice, <laughs> Nicely done. Good for you, Selena. All right, so I think it's time that we start kind of looking the part, so to speak. So let's look at clothing. And we've got some stately garb. We've got patrician's garb, which I am a patrician now, so it seems to make sense that I would go ahead and put on some patrician's garb. So right now we have robust clothing. We need to change that. So how do we go about buying some? I guess we just... Well, this is interesting. The market has riding horses. I'd very much like to have one of those. It's not going to let me do it, though. So there must be certain requirements you have to achieve before you can do certain things. And I apparently don't have them. Um, market sells at Old Roman Markets, uh, South Thames Markets. Riding a horse not only enables you to reach your destination more quickly, it also raises you above the muck and grime of the city to prevent you your expensive clothing from getting dirty in the filthy streets. And yes, riding a horse ha also has saddlebags in which you can carry things. All right, so how do I acquire said horse? It's not letting me do it. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, I know why I can't acquire the horse. There aren't any. It says zero there. So even when something is not available it still shows in the market now there's five okay now we can buy one awesome i have a riding horse we're gonna have fun with that but i'm not done yet let's look at clothing interestingly there's none of this clothing currently available uh so we're gonna have to wait until we can do that oh silver chains yes let's buy my wife a silver chain seems like a nice thing to do does she have to come and get it herself is that how it works all right so what if i do this there we go, and then I take it to her. So let's do that. Can we do that on our horse? That's kind of awesome, if oh, so. Won't take long. Yes. Ride that horse, Richard. Ride that horse. Nice. Okay, so let's give. When I grow up, I want to be. Oh, you buy me something nice. So that's Edward talking to me there. Yes, yep, what's up? Let's get them both in the house and then see if I can give this to her. Well, I guess the easiest thing to do is just let Noen have her own necklace. I'll wear a silver necklace. Maybe we'll buy her a gold one. How's that sound? She deserves it. She's been having all these kids. She hasn't gotten all any of the glory. She certainly deserves better. So uh, She's still wearing artisan's clothes, but there aren't any other clothing options available. So... Wow, sounds like somebody's breaking stuff. So there's your gold chain, now wind. Let's also go ahead and get her. 
She doesn't need a long sword. I think uh, like a dagger would be sufficient. Just to make sure that my wife is well protected. There we go. Somebody's snoring, and I don't know who that is, but... <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and send her home, and then let's just go ahead and start uh, building up our finances again. So we can get to the next levels of things that we want to acquire. Alright, we're going to go ahead and let our kids go out and play. I know it's almost midnight, but hey, you know, whatever. So Elizabeth and Ed, we're going to go out to play right now. I don't know where all so oh, Selena's still stacking boxes at the market, apparently. Let's take a look. Here's our whole family here. So Edward is not in the building. Elizabeth is over stacking boxes, or, or is she playing? I can't remember. Selena's not in the building. Melissa is the... What would you like me to do? This is our henchman that's kind of chilling outside, just guarding everything. Elizabeth leveled up. That's cool. There's Selena. She's just kind of chilling over here. She's 10 years old now. Oh, I didn't do anything. Why don't you go ahead and go home, Selena? I've got Richard and Nelwyn out getting water because we had no water in the house. So once we bring that back, we'll be able to do some flannel. Flannel helps protect you and keeps you clean and stuff and has a positive impact on charisma. All right, we're back up to 10,000 and climbing, which means I think we are ready to buy Agriculture 3. Although, let's take a look here. What's um, We can also get Hospitality 2. I think I'd rather do that. Because uh, that allows us to produce some new things I'm at the waiting. old toll. So let's take a look. Strong beer. Why can't we do it yet? Oh, because we need a tavern. Oh, so building a tavern... Let's take a look at that. That's only twenty-seven eighty to build a tavern. That's not bad. Uh, so, in my family, um, we had the old toll in Glasgow, Scotland, but we also had one in Tipton, outside of Birmingham, and it was called the English Oak, and it still also exists. So we're going to call this one the English Oak, and we're going to have to find a spot for it. Looks like right here is where our tavern's going to go. And for now, we'll keep the other one. But let's go ahead and start leveling up ourselves a tavern. Okay, summer 413. Or 1413. The English oak is completed. We need some employees. So let's start hiring some folks. Lorelai, Larina, and Margo. We're going to hire our transport. And we'll just do, um, we'll do it here. The storage rules for now. Now we can make strong beer here. It'll be ready we can also time. make wheat beer. As sure as eggs is eggs. Which we're gonna need some spirit of wine. We're gonna need some blackberries for that. And in order to make strong beer and wheat beer, you need alcohol. And so we'll work on the production right. of alcohol as well. So we have to start acquiring the necessary things for that. But that's going to give us yet another Production source of revenue, important. and I should see revenue going up fast. Looking ahead now, uh, we want to be a nobleman, which is going to cost 17528 influence. But I think the faster you move in this process, the faster it seems to go. And I think at some point, we may have to try and explore a little bit of the... Uh, more nefarious things that happen. Your like maybe we're going to... You know, I'm looking at... Reputations getting diminished uh, by somebody. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking about the Stoddard family and how well they seem to be doing. I think they need to be knocked down a few pegs. So we might have to look into uh, doing some dirty things to make that happen. So uh, that'll be for the next episode, though. Elizabeth's now 12 years old. So I would guess in the next episode, we're going to be marrying off at least one of my daughters. Uh, we're going to do some nefarious things. We're going to look at buying some better clothing and, and looking the part a little more. And we're going to continue to work our way up the the chain of... I still haven't figured out how to join guilds. That may be having to talk to somebody who's in one of those guilds. But we'll do that next episode as well. We're going to see if we can work ourselves up into this next level. Uh, there's Dungeon Master. We could actually do that now. I could be the Dungeon Master, folks. Let's apply for the Dungeon Master job. Excellent. Okay, cool. 
All right, that'll be for the next episode. I know that wasn't real long, but a lot is happening. And I wanted to make sure I got an episode of this out to you. So let me know your thoughts about it. Drop a like if you would. Check out my other channel when you get a chance. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.